Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and hi Sagittarius. Let's see what messages will show up for you guys. In case this reading resonates, I will be linking a reading about your person underneath the video. Um, so you can check it out if you want. And bonus messages as well, okay? Now let's have a look at the messages that want to show up for Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? What do we have for Sagittarius? Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. Okay. Let's see. What more do we have for Sagittarius? What more do we have for Sagittarius, please? There's a toxic relationship that you were in or you are trying to recover from. I also feel like some of you are often feeling emotionally manipulated or used. What do we have for Sagittarius? Look at that, Nine of Swords. You're stressed out about something. Mm. Some of you ended the cycle with a Leo or a Libra recently. Oh man. That is nice. What's showing up is nice. Advice. Healing. Four of Wands to the Four of Pentacles. Why is there so much resistance in regards to a home or a family situation? We will see. I feel like a lot of you are stressed out about something these days. There's also this energy of lack of sleep maybe. Okay. What is the Nine of Swords? Some of you have work-related stress. Yeah, some of you have work-related stress or there's a certain project, there's a certain venture. Um, I don't know. There's something that you're working towards, okay, financially. And I do feel like it is, you know, energetically, it, it does look like it is consuming you. Okay. What is the page of swords? Last shuffle. Your challenge here is opening up to love. Your challenge here has a lot to do with maybe, you know, a situation that, you know, page of swords is an energy where somebody, why do I feel like, okay, I'm going to put it this way. It, it looks like there's a certain situation you look at, Sagittarius, and you just feel like you could have done better. You could have, yeah, you could have done better in this situation. 
You could have known better. I feel like um, Sagittarius, there's an energy here of a person who came in your life who was very emotionally immature. And, you know, the more time you, I'm going to say wasted with this person, the more you felt, um, what is that? Resentful, okay? I feel like you were trying to change somebody in a relationship and the reason for that was because maybe i feel like some of you have issues stemming from childhood i don't know like maybe some of you had a missing parent or there was some sort of abuse though now you know this is not a platform to talk about that but i do feel like there is um some energy here of something from the past that is still not healed within you and that tends to repeat in your relationships of course okay a lot of you are closing a cycle that was very toxic and you're moving on. For some of you, I'm even seeing traveling or opportunities to travel, perhaps. Um, I'm seeing you moving on from something, Tower, maybe something toxic, something that fell apart. This is nice because I feel like, okay, whatever happened, happened. Don't beat yourself up about it, okay? Because it, it's like at times you're kind of like telling yourself, oh, I could have done better. I could have known better, okay? How did I not see this coming? But with the Tower energy, what was supposed to happen already happened and it's time to let go. And with the Six of Swords energy, I kind of see you moving towards um, a place where you're more calm within yourself. But I feel like it's going to take time and healing. What is the devil about? Devil and the Four of Cups. There was somebody here who was toxic in a way. Um, Sagittarius who... Um, can I say this? Of course I can. I see an energy of somebody love bombing you. It's like somebody loved bombed you and then they took it away from you and then you were left like so that created a toxic pattern for you and that is something that I see you healing from. Ace of Swords. Right now what is needed is the clarity that you're giving to yourself, not the clarity that you know you seek from the other person, maybe. You already know the truth and I feel like a lot of you are emotionally trying to avoid something now, okay, because you are healing. But with the Ace of Swords, this is like seeing something for what it is. Not trying to fix it, but seeing something for what it is. I also feel like something was revealed to you about this person. Yeah, Eight of Cups. You are walking away from this, but I feel like for some of you, you are also forcing yourself to move on from something. Don't do it like that. You know, there's a lot of uh, unprocessed um, grief and emotion here. And the more you're suppressing something or the more we generally suppress something, the more it kind of like bugs us later on. So there is a need. Okay, you're healing, you're moving on, but don't try to rush it. With the star and the sun energy, something very nice is about to happen for you guys. Um, this is healing. This is a good news that may be coming in as well. Why are you resisting it though, Empress? It might come in when you least expect it as well. I feel like for some of you, there's love showing up here in the future, not right now, in the future when you least expect it. But before that, there's lots of healing. And this reading is not just about love. It is about some sort of a truth coming out or having to move on from a situation that wasn't serving you, whether that be love, family or a friendship 
a lot of you are trying to get back your confidence i feel like for a lot of you you also lost your self-confidence in a situation um i do see you moving towards the future i do see you celebrating something or some of you maybe i don't know you will be reuniting with a friend or family member i see a sense of celebration victory success for you so the message here for you is to not seclude yourself and it's like when you are in this energy the right one will come along the emperor and the empress are together in a reading six of cups to the temperance is your advice which talks about a union but it also talks about healing and divine timing so i do feel like there is a manifestation of a connection here uh, however there's divine timing with the temperance energy you're showing up in your own advice which means that at times a lot of you also need to learn to trust your intuition I also feel like uh, Sagittarius, a lot of you need to refrain from making commitments or making promises that you won't be able to fulfill. Or I feel like this is not a time for you to make major decisions, just saying, because I feel like there's a lot that you might say, but later on you will be reconsidering it. Okay, let's read for you empathy and I will link uh, the reading about your person underneath the video if you're interested. You don't truly understand others' motivations if you haven't lived their lives and seen the world through their eyes. It is so easy to judge another's behavior matched up against your own and label it as right or wrong, but you're missing an important part of the equation, the, others, the other person's history and personal path. We are all sparks of the divine and with a purpose here in the physical dimension. We can all exert our free will. Some of us have lost our way along the path to love and it is a human reaction to judge others before examining their journey through their eyes and with compassion. Your job is not to judge, your job is to love and understand. I kind of want to pick one more for you guys. So let's see what which one comes up. Give me one more message. What is the advice message? Advice for Sagittarius. Give me one more. Happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. It is about prioritizing your happiness. It's also about um opening up your heart to something let's see happiness learning to be happy again before incarnating your soul created a blueprint for you to follow in this physical dimension the easiest way to chart this path is to follow your bliss life is full of choices and opportunities spirit in its infinite wisdom has given you the emotion of happiness to guide you the signposts are always there but you have to acknowledge them and have the courage to follow them as you hold this card, do you feel that you're living a life of happiness? In what areas is it lacking? It may be time to be truthful with your soul self. Listen to its language and intuit. If there is someone or a scenario holding you back from experiencing complete happiness, even though it may be painful to admit, you need to be completely truthful. Be mindful of how happiness will affect every aspect of your life on your path. Also intuit if there is someone or something else who needs to be brought up into the awareness of happiness this is important to recognize as well others others will want to learn from you and whether you admit it or not you can be their teacher when you are filled with love and compassion not only do you bring happiness into your life but you lead others by example that's it sagittarius thank you so much for being here uh, do check out the links in the description box if you're interested take care and bye, -bye.